Welcome back to the Roxy Pro. We're here for the last heat of the second round, and it's a fantastic matchup with Silvana Lima, a former runner-up to the world title two times. Is up against Lakey Peterson, who has made a, a great return from injury. She's looking very sharp, surfed a good first round heat, even though she didn't make the jump into round three. Yeah, really cupped out faces, nice and glassy. Not too many ramps popping up at the moment, but you just never know. Lakey Peterson is taking off at the moment. Threw down some nice carves in the, the opening round of competition and has a good section here. A lot of speed and power unleashed in that move. Gonna get more down the line. Just a great point break surfer. Has fantastic flow and, and linkage in her surfing. Transitions well between moves. What a start. That is a great start for Lakey Peterson. So it comes in as the 13th seed. Uh, but she has had some amazing finishes in recent years. She also uh, had this ride. Let's check it out. Well, and that's the arc. That is a beautiful snap, nice and strong. A little variety in those snaps as well. Kind of a little missed that section, but made up for it as uh, she was able to whip these two, you know, two turn combos again, where she drops straight to the bottom into you know the bottom turn and straight back into another maneuver. So uh, this is the four five she had on the very first wave of the heat. You know, this one was kind of on the top of the point, right? So it had that steeper section at the top and shouldered off and didn't give her any connections to the inside. And that paddle back out really put her in position and being comfortable because it's not something that she's very comfortable with. But she's been able to apply herself and learn. Well, I think she did make an adjustment in Fiji, but we've got Silvana Lima up at the moment. First turn was strong. Nice carve there to back it up. Rolling through the inside. Kicks the fins once again. She was having trouble completing her rides in the first round. Not the case on this wave. Both surfers in form. Silvana Lima again right next to the rocks. That low tide. That drop becomes difficult too to hold your speed because it's so square. It literally goes from you know, a straight up and down wall. There's no transition whatsoever. This was a rod from earlier in the heat. This was a 5.67 peak. Well, again, this one loaded up down point so she had to kind of chase it but once she gets there it's a great scoring opportunity and you were mentioning that you know not being able to complete the her maneuvers at the end there she did I mean the did, wave did run off but the maneuver actually was pulled off she didn't stumble she got biased between the sandbar and the lip of the wave and here we go Lakey Peterson up once again. She looks like she's getting herself on some slightly bigger waves. It's allowing her to draw out some bigger turns. How was the release in that move? Really throwing everything at it at the moment, Lakey. So she gets tangled up with that side winding white water, and it's really hard to recover. A little bit bigger, in, in, you know, probably in weight, and, and can really kind of utilize that for that type of turns where she can hold a rail through it, and it's going to be a significant point of difference right there just lays into it sinks the rail so strong so athletic and again beautiful two-turn combo and a third this is going to be adding to uh, her 767 and she's going to have a pretty substantial lead here you know knowing that she's got a substantial two wave total sometimes you can take that kind of foot off the gas but uh, I don't think that's the time right now when you have the conditions being as good as they are too right now you're just like oh i just want to rip <laughs> i want to go out there and do some more i mean look at this wave once again 9.27 and she really didn't even finish it they've had uh, quite a few meetings in the past lakey and silvana just one head-to-head -head match up she's been putting a little extra effort into it. here we go silvana was gifted this wave let's see if she can convert it into some big points Pretty smooth so far, but needs to get some of those more critical turns done to push this score up into the excellent range and break combination. It's setting up nicely on the inside. She's going to go to the air, really trying to force that reverse. Couldn't stick it though. Such a tough section. She knew she wanted to do something. She had to do something big if she wanted to you know, see a score go upwards into the excellent range. 
You know, it had a little smaller wave, but it looked like it was going to build down the line. You, you know, the whole time she's going, oh, give me an air section, give me an air section. You know, there she pumped past, like you had said, pumped past, had to come back. And then she's like, okay, well, this little low road here might give me an opportunity. You can see that stalling right there sets it up so she can time the air section. It's almost like she was thinking of the excellent score when maybe she should have been thinking, if I get a seven, I'm out of combination, and then I can go really looking for a much better ride. Because halfway through that wave, she probably should have known that it was going to struggle to break the excellent range, that ride. And um, I got really lucky that that wave came, and um, I was able to redeem my, my mistake. That was the second heat in a row with friendly fires. It's friends surfing against friends. How hard is that? It is hard. In a way, you have like so much admiration and respect for one another that it's kind of just like, oh, let's go surf our hardest and not even look at you. <laughs> but um, that one was weird. We definitely we battled off the start, and I was like, oh, I'm not ready for this. But um, no, we pulled it together, and I just, I finally got to surf. You know, I, I've been injured. I've watched her surf a lot of heats the past month, and um, I think I was just really excited to surf. <laughs> I mean, I was listening, but I kind of zoned out. Sorry, Coco. Because Lakey went absolutely mad on this ride, Pete. Yeah, she did. And uh, she gets rewarded for it, too. Look at the screen. I can see the number. I just want to watch the ride again before I read it out. Slotting into the barrel. There's that variety that she's shown throughout. Really mixing things up. And the score came through. It's our first perfect 10-point ride of the Roxy Pro of the season. And Lakey Peterson, a very worthy recipient there. You know, a lot of this score came from this turn here, where she just attacked it in that variety. The big arc, you know, finds a little barrel on the inside. She would have loved this wave. I don't have the information in front of me, but I wonder if uh, Lakey's had a 10-point ride before you know, on the CT. Well, I know she had one in the NSSA Open when I was calling a heat when she won the Open Women's at Lowers. But it was uh, for mostly one big move. But here, she just strung together all sorts of stuff. Carves, snaps, barrels. I mean, that's that variety that always is something that you want to see. But, I mean, she's changed things up here. I think that she really, truly has been working on something that's going to help her win some events. I mean, if she can keep this kind of stature up, she could, uh, and uh, yeah, of course, happy about that performance. Snips all way clapping all night. You know, you can kind of start working on equipment. I mean, you look at, she's riding a 5.8 Rook 15, which, you know, is a proven design. A lot of the surfers have those in their quiver, but I mean, look how everything's here. You know, the snap was so powerful. The carve, she utilized the whole rail, sank it. You had the little barrel. Again, just so much speed through it too, you know, like every single turn was just a little bit different and a different approach and the judges couldn't deny they had to throw it a tent. Well, on the forehand, she's very well rounded. Uh, she has a great approach to aerial surfing. She has those nice wrapping calves, obviously can hit the lip. A little bit of falling from Silvana. Yeah, and uh, you know, and here's Lakey once again. Pretty sure Lakey would still be winning this heat with just her backup rides. That's how uh, strong she's been. Her throwaway scores, I should say. But she's just working this one over, having some fun, enjoying just sharing the lineup out there with one other person. Well, it's a perfect training time, really. Good little trick to have in your back pocket as we see Silvana up now. Nice first turn. Can she pull a miracle comeback? Comboing up a few decent moves on this ride. Needs this wave to provide on the inside. It's not going to. She kicks out. Four and a half minutes to go. I like the approach, though. You know, again, didn't look like she was trying to rush or do anything extra. It was just a nice, clean approach. You know, if that wave had a little connection to a little Marley, we could have seen her probably get something up in that excellent range and get herself out of, out of combination. She may have done that already. You know, these t turns are pretty strong. Two nice arcs. That one connects with the lip on a good size wave. So three solid moves on the outside with a little cutty. But there, you know, she could see the frustration. She felt like that wave was going there, but then not having uh, that inside. Yeah, that uh, that model, the Rook, 
pretty much works in, in all sorts of conditions, and uh, it's a very confident board to have on your feet. Look at these waves. Silvana's oh. found the bomb, and she has fallen on the wave of the heat. Oh. That thing just reeled off down the line. And that massive, was the wave she needed. That was possibly a 10-point ride, it. for sure. And she is freaking. I'm freaking. Well, it's hard to watch waves that good go unridden out here. It's a rarity. It's actually a thing of beauty, as we see Lakey up once again, trying to dispose of a 9.27. And she oh, is geez. really having a good time out here now. It's just bowling out on the inside here at the moment. Very difficult to surf. Lakey doing well at the moment. <laughs> Having uh, a fantastic run yeah, here you, in the second round. You can just tell she is glued <laughs> onto that equipment. <laughs> Behind the scenes here. Could we see that be a perfect 10? I mean, if it's close. Uh, eh. uh, Take a look. I mean, this is a, a pretty a solid. Way. I mean, again, great wave choice. It carries a ton of speed. There's the first move. I mean, wow. that was sick. And then again, was mental. Yeah, and, and the really second. Solid. You know, and this is a critical wave. You know, there had to kind of do it, but there was there was some massive turns in that. You know, she did miss a couple opportunities, maybe. You know, not maybe go perfect, but it's still going to be a big score. Waiting on the numbers to come through, the judges having a think about it. It is going to be another excellent score. We know that. Have a look at the face of this first section. Watch this turn. And that's that technique. Look at how she turns her shoulders. And actually, when she knew she had to keep the, the board going down the line, you see how she tucked her arm back rather than pulling it forward across her body. And that's keeping that momentum flying down the line. When you really lay into a turn, you wow. keep that arm moving all the way through. She wasn't ha didn't have to do that, again, knowing that she had to keep moving down the line. Great surfing from Lakey Peterson, her best ever performance in a championship to a heat. And that last score is starting to come in now, a 9.13. So it doesn't push her heat score title any higher, but she can feel very good about herself, obviously. Silvana Lima bundled out of the event here in the second round.